to this new series of uh, dog training videos um, called Percy's Progress and he's the star of the show, young Percy here. He's a working cocker spaniel, uh, blue roan in colour. He's just 14 weeks old, uh, bred by John and Dana Reese of Bywell Cockers in Glamarthenshire. Uh, traditional old lines, like Massa Derwin, for those that you know your cocker lines. And uh, John very successfully bred the championship winner run by Di Ormond a couple of years ago. So hopefully young Percy here will, will come up to scratch. So he's 14 weeks old. Um, in an ideal world I wouldn't have had a puppy this time of the year. Um, I like to have my pups in the spring. But uh, this little chap came along and uh, to be honest he was just uh, too good an opportunity to miss. So here we are in mid-November. Um, been a very, very wet winter so not really done much with him. We've had him about four weeks. So we've given him plenty of time to settle in with the other dogs. Um, it's all very well with Ted. Regular viewers will obviously know Ted from the shooting videos and training with Ted videos. So a young person here, I'm going to start him off on the place board. Um, and what I'm hoping to do is, on a fairly regular basis, do some videos and give you some updates just to see how he's getting on. Um, hopefully to impart a little bit of interest to you. Um, and eventually, um, in a 12 months, 18 months time, we'll get him out of the shooting field and uh, see how he gets on. So what we're going to do today, just introduce him to the place board. He's been on there a couple of times, I've been working on it, and um, he's taken to it really well. So we're going to do a little bit of place board work, just to show you how I introduce the pups to the board. So before we get on to do any exercises, let's just have a look at um, the place board that I use. Now this was one that was made a couple of years ago for me. Uh, it's 25 inches wide, by about 13 inches deep, uh, by about 3 inches thick. Got AstroTurf on top of it, um, so that just creates a nice non-slip surface for the for the puppies, so they don't slip on and off. Uh, there's no real uh, proper size to have for these place boards. Uh, I just find this one works really well for the cockers. Obviously, if you've got a Labrador or something and you want to carry on using it as he gets older, then you're going to need um, a slightly bigger one, or even perhaps even two together. I've only ever used just one place board. I know there's some advocates that use two, three, perhaps even sometimes four. I've just found one works really well for me. So it's not a magic tool, um, it's not going to miraculously change your dog training overnight, um, but I'll find it's a system that works for me. And so uh, let's go and get Percy and we'll do a few exercises with him. He's very, very new to this, uh, probably been on the place board about two or three times. Uh, it's the wrong time of the year, really, it's winter time, so it's pretty dark in the evenings. But the beauty of this thing is that you can do it in a garage or a shed, you can do it indoors and um, it just gets those puppies off to a good start with their training, their conditioning, gets them used to sitting down in front of you and as hopefully you'll see with, uh, with Percy, it helps get their eye focus in which is what we're really looking for. I'll go get the young man and uh, see how we get on. So as it's this time of the year I tend to do a lot of my early training um, in the garden and that's fine and that's boy. <laughs> and um, which is a great place to start training when they're puppies. Uh, obviously the idea, the ideal with a with a place board is that you can actually start them off quite young, and it's not pure training as such. Um, it's more about conditioning the dogs, uh, puppies getting them used to sitting in front of you, and uh, I'm looking for that eye contact at this stage, really trying to get that eye focus. Um, I'm not against using treats uh, to get them going on this. The only thing I don't really like using treats for is when we're doing retrieving. Uh, but what I tend to do is give them just very, very small bits, so it's not something they become totally obsessed with. So, got my place board, um, you can see young Percy there, he's just wandering off doing his own thing at the moment. So hopefully we'll get the board down, and we'll call him up, good lad. So straight away, just in two very short sessions I've done, he knows to come and sit on that board. So they don't sit, just help them up a little bit, good lad little reward there for doing that. The way I like to use the place board is to make that the best place for the dog in the world. It's a lovely place, only good things happen on there. I've seen other techniques where um, the dog becomes scared to come off the board, that's not the way I like to do things. Now this is a 14 week old Cocker Spaniel and a lot of people say Cockers they're mad, they can't sit still, they can't sit still. But what you're doing by using the place board, you're actually giving them a target place, you're giving them somewhere to sit. So the other thing I quite like to do, even at this stage, I'm already now just starting to back off him a little bit. 
and he's still quite happy to do that. The old way of getting them to kind of sit and stay, you'd get them on the lead and you'd be jerking the back, jerking the back. You don't have to do this with the place board, good lad. The other thing as well now already, I'm getting a good eye focus with him. When I'm moving, he's watching me. Yeah, he might be watching the treat in a minute. At the minute, but he's still giving me the eye contact. The other thing I'll do is I'll just come to one side. Good lad. Good boy. Come around the front of him. Stay there. Good lad. You might notice then I just give him a little click just to bring his eye line back up again. Good boy. So we can come around this side. Good lad. Another very important thing is I don't always treat them, so what I sometimes do is go back, good lad. Give them that stroke under the chin there, under the neck, he likes that. And what that's going to do is later on when we get onto more advanced retrieving work, that's going to lift his head up and give me a nice delivery. What a good boy. Well done, mate. Keep these sessions really short. Obviously, there, he's a very young dog. Attention span of a gnat. Good lad. Good boy. There you go. And really that's all I'm going to do for the moment. I'm just going to build it up gradually and gradually and gradually. I'm not worried that he's got off by himself there. Here, come back on. There you go. He knows it's a good place. He's learned. He comes and sits on the board. He'll get a little treat. Sometimes it might be a little bit of biscuit. Next time it might be just a nice stroke. Good boy. Good lad. Well done. Good boy. And at this stage, that's as far as I'm going to go. The other thing I've been uh, working on with Percy over the last couple of weeks is just introducing him to these little tennis balls. Just getting him distracted there by a leaf. Good lad. So I've been getting these little tennis balls, just getting him kind of clued up on those and doing a little bit of retrieving with him. And um, been doing it actually in the hallway indoors to start with because it's a bit of a restricted area. But what I'm hoping is, is by using this place board, uh, that will give him a target area to come back to me. We've got a bit of an issue at the moment where he's running around like an idiot um, with the ball. It's all great, great fun for him. So we'll give him a go on this and just see whether we can get him back up onto the board. I'm using quite a rough area here, so he's got to hunt for it a little bit. Percy, Percy. Good boy, come on in. Good boy. Good boy. Good lad. Now that wasn't too bad at all. What he's been doing before is just been flying past me, um, so that was quite encouraging. Uh, it's the first time we've used the board for this. Good boy, yes. You're a clever man. Should we try again? Oh, he's missed that one. Let's go see if we're going to find it. Find it, find it, find it. Find it, find it. Good boy, where is it? Where is it? There's been lots of encouragement. Good boy, yes, good lad. Come on then. Good boy. Oh, that was better. Good lad. So there you have it for the first little video. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, obviously we've got a lot of work in progress. Um, training any gun dog is a battle of patience. Uh, but I think it's all there with him. I'm seeing some good little bits. And uh, hopefully over the next few weeks we'll keep working away with this place board. You want your dinner, don't you mate? So, uh, and uh, we'll do another video, perhaps about another three weeks and hopefully you'll be able to see some progress. Go and get your dinner then mate, go on off you go. Go on in, no? What do you want to do? <laughs> good boy, you're a good lad. You're a good lad. Oh, you know what they are in a few years time. Hey.